What is up YouTube? It's time for a book review video again and this time around I read a fiction book from our local writer Ng Ziqing and the title of the book is called Every School is a Good School I think the title references to uh, our local politician Hing Sui Kiet back when he was an education minister he famously said that every Singapore government school is a good school <music> This book is about an exchange program where two girls, one from elite school and one from neighborhood school, they go on exchange program locally to each other's schools. And in the process of which they found out whether the stereotypes of the schools are actually true and uh, they learn different things about uh, the schools itself. So for example, the elite girl, right? She went to a neighborhood school. She learned how to play pool. She learned that you know, her classmates had different aspirations like, you know, being a cook, going to ITE, going to Polytechnic. Um, and on the other hand, the neighborhood, uh, the girl from neighborhood school went to the elite school, found out that it's not easy juggling the, 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 the demands of an elite school, right? Having to juggle extracurriculum activities together with the, with the very stressful academic rigor of the elite school. It's pretty accurate depiction of Singapore education system. The different categories, the different streams. Uh, the writing style is very local. There's a bit uh, of Singlish in there, like the La Le Law. And also, I like um, how the schools... Uh, it's quite accurate. Like, for example, if you go to a neighborhood school, right? If that particular year is your streaming year, and for example, you want to be a chef and they don't offer home econs that year and that's it. You don't get to pursue your passion. I like it. It's quite accurate, right? So you go to a good school for example, a photography club. Uh, and it's, and this, is, uh, this is mentioned in the book as well. You when you go to the uh, photography club in the elite school, you know, you are able to rent a DSLR, like a good camera, uh, which I don't think you can get it at in the, uh, a neighborhood school. Uh, what I don't like about this book is that uh, the ending I feel is a bit uh, it's a bit fairy tale ending it's a bit uh, unrealistic uh. so uh, what happened was that at the end the the politician who proposed this program I decided to scrap it off due to some uh, viral video so the daughter the the girl from Ely school is the daughter of the politician right decide to gather around all the childs of the politician and start you know campaigning on social media for I think for the program to continue yeah I can't remember sorry I read this book like, I don't know how many months ago so uh, it's a bit of a unrealistic ending right nothing is impossible in reality but what are the chances of this happening uh, and also what I don't like is that um, okay I like the style I like the the writing style, right? It's not, uh, it's quite straightforward. It's fast paced, but what I don't like is that this 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 book is like those kind of uh, you know, in primary school and secondary school, I have my teachers, right? When they ask us to write a, a composition, uh, my teacher, English teacher, would photocopy the good ones, right, and then like distribute around class, and it would be like gushing. Oh, who wrote this? Who wrote this? Oh, is it person A or person B? These two are like the strong, strongest in English. This book looks like it just seems like a very prolonged version of that kind of composition, and which I, <laughs> I just wish I had that kind of English uh, English uh, ability. Man, I'm kind of jealous of this writer. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, like that. The very smart girl in my primary school class, right? Especially this is a local book, right? Singapore. She's like this very smart girl in uh, my English class. That, oh my god! After PSLE, this girl is going to an elite school. I know that. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. So reflection. Time for reflection. Okay. What I feel about this book. Okay. This book is essentially about the elitism, right? In Singapore schools, uh, is is really every school a good school? Uh, what I feel is, uh, I don't know. I honestly, I have no opinion about this. I just, I'm, I'm not really a social issues kind of person. Uh, I'm not really a social issues kind of person. Uh, talk about, you know, social equality, 
about elitism, about leveling the playing field. Uh, these are not issues that are close to my heart. Uh, man, really sorry. I have no opinion. <laughs> it was a good read. It was a good read. Uh, but um, I have no opinion about this. Uh. Uh, I should be more concerned because now that you know I have kids, I should be concerned about whether about such social issues, lah. But okay, education. When you talk, when you think about it, it all boils down to one thing. In my opinion, right? It's either you have it or you don't have it. It's like how things like for me, talent more it matters more than hard work. It goes a longer way than hard work, right? Talent. It goes a long way than hard work. So you either have it or you don't have it. So it. I feel it's a bit sad. I mean, I got friends that are not talented in academics. They are pushed by their parents to like study hours and hours. Uh, you know, their parents spend thousands of money on their tuition fees, and then they end up very sad. They have a very sad childhood. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I'm not the kind of parent. Uh, 